hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so we are going to start an exciting series from today onwards that is the development of selenium framework from scratch so this is the part one of a selenium framework series guys and we are going to construct a data driven framework with page object model using java language and we are going to use latest selenium features in this framework so let's have a look the agenda for today and we are going to have an overview of the complete framework which we are going to which we are going to construct in coming days using this uh, in this particular series so let's have a look the agenda so we'll talk about what is a test automation framework the brief about what is test automation framework and later on uh, we'll have an overview of our complete framework like what are the you know different tools which we are going to use and uh, what is the uh, application under test which what is the application which we are going to automate and uh, what how many number of test cases are there and uh, what are the key highlights of this framework which we are going to learn today and later on we'll talk about what are the different components of this framework which we are going to develop and i'll talk about uh, the framework folder structure as well and at last we'll talk about the key prerequisites to learn this framework so let's have a look the first topic what is a test automation framework so whenever you get an opportunity guys whenever you join any company then you have to work in the uh, when you join as a as an automation engineer then you have to work in the uh, work in automation framework right you cannot blindly write the automation script so we use framework to automate the manual test cases right so it's systematic approach basically there is a you know standard uh, some coding standard we are going to use some uh, structured way uh, we use to de develop or build the automation framework so if we talk about uh, the definition proper definition what is automation framework so a set of guidelines like coding standards uh, test data handling object repository etc which when followed during automation script scripting right that produce uh, beneficial outcomes like increase code reusage high portability reduce uh, script maintenance cost etc right so we have spoken about like uh, what is a test automation framework earlier a lot uh, you can you know go to the playlist of my uh, youtube channel and then you can you can see what are the different you know we have already spoken about uh, the framework in the earlier framework series so basically uh, uh, these are not just like guidelines okay uh, or and not rules uh, these, these are just guidelines and not rules they are also not mandatory and you can still uh, do the scripting without following the guidelines but you will miss out the advantages of having a framework so we have already spoken about what are the different advantages of having the framework when we uh, learn any automation tool right now let's talk about the next uh, thing like uh, an overview of our the framework which we are going to develop in this particular series so we are going to use uh, selenium web driver uh, is being used as the core automation engine right and uh, eclipse id is used to develop the automation uh, automated script we are going to use the to write the script we are going to use the eclipse id and uh, we'll will use maven as build tool for building execution and dependency purpose right we have pom.xml to you know generate different jar files so for uh, build tool we are going to use maven test engine we are going to use for testing framework is used for organizing the script and a page object model as the design pattern right to you know have the page classes and test classes we are going to use the page object model as the design pattern uh, for test data we are going to use the excel sheet from where we can read the data and git and github is used for a version control management system and a ci tool we are going to use jenkins and extend report extend spark report for a reporting purpose so these are the different uh, uh, things which we are going to use in our framework 
if you talk about uh, what is the application which we are going to use like orange hrm which is like uh, uh, to maintain the employee or i would say this is employee management application probably in the next video i'll give an overview of this application orange hrm the demo application of orange hrm and uh, we are going to use we are going to automate around six to seven test cases in this framework maybe more than that as well because the main idea is how we are going to construct the framework right the number of test cases doesn't matter here but we'll have different uh, you know uh, the scenarios and uh, we'll use different test cases as well an automation tool like selenium web driver as we discussed test ng framework and java maven jenkins git and github and javascript some javascripting as well and this is important point like what are the key highlights of this framework so we are going to use selenium four features uh, some locator uh, locator strategy and we are going to use selenium manager as well so we don't explicitly give the uh, the driver path so automatically this will be taken care by this selenium manager which is the new feature in selenium 4 and this is again important like we are going to use we are going to you know automate api and db test cases as well so maybe a couple of test cases i'll show you how we can automate api and uh, database related test cases in our framework and we are going to use base 64 image format for reporting purpose as well so we can directly attach that image into our uh, you know extent report and we can uh, look uh, easily open that image and we can have a look and uh, element border this is important like how we can let's say there there is a particular like user uh, username and password field is there how we are going to highlight that let's say in case of failure how we are going to highlight in red color how we are going to highlight in green color in case of pass so this is new feature which we are going to you know use in our framework like element bordering how we can use that green or red color and we improved logging and reporting features as well proper uh, log for j we are going to use and then improved weight handling as well different weight uh, mechanism which we are going to use in this framework and of course we are going to use cross browser and parallel testing as well and uh, uh, singleton class as well uh, to create a single instance of our uh, web driver as well that is also we are going to use in this framework so what are the different components uh, we have in this framework which we going to which we are going to have in this framework right so we are going to have a base class we are going to construct a base class which manages browser setup and tear down process right and later on we'll have a action driver class as well which contains reusable methods for performing common selenium actions like click action will be there how we're going to entering the text so we are going to have uh, different methods which we are going to develop in this action driver class and there will be a config reader config.properties file which loads and manages configurations from config.properties file and as part of the page object model we, we are going to have page classes which encapsulates the functionality of web pages using the page object model and we have test classes as well right uh, which contains the actual test cases validating the functionality of the application so if you don't know like what is the page object model and some other you know uh, uh, other features of automation then probably i would recommend first go through my previous videos which i have created on selenium and java you can find in the playlist and we are going to construct some utility classes as well uh, manages the setup and creation of extent report for extent report we have extend manager uh, data providers we are going to have the data provider for uh, parameterization db connection class as well for uh, you know connection with the database and then api utility class for uh, api test cases and then excel reader utility as well to read the excel file logger manager for logging purpose and retry analyzer for retrying our test cases
sometimes what happens is because of the connection issue or any other issue our test gets failed so in that case we try using this logic we'll try our test cases two or three times and uh, another component important component is test ng integration like to organize and execute our test cases with test ng and we are going to use listeners as well customize uh, test execution behavior using test ng test ng listeners like when it gets passed fail or skip or any other things right so using this listener maven for jar file version control to maintain or uh, to download all the jar files which we are going to use in our framework uh, so for that we are going to use the maven as build file uh, for a version control which we are going to use uh, uh, the git which uh, git we are going to use and github as well for the uh, remote repository and uh, jenkins integration as well automates test execution integrate and integrates with jenkins test data and test ng xml and screenshots as well separate folder for screenshots so test data uh, will be a separate folder and then test ng dot xml so from where we can run our suite so these are the different components uh, which we are going to have in our framework when we develop now this is the folder structure guys uh, probably in the next video we'll construct this folder structure and we'll talk more about it so there are two main folders src main java here you can see and src test java under which we have different uh, subfolders like the package uh, action driver and then base base class will be there under which we have base api test and base class will be there so more or less we'll construct in this way and we have uh, uh, listeners uh, package as well and then we have pages and we have utilities where we have different uh, utilities under this utility utilities uh, package and under these resources we have configured properties and we have log 4j 2.xml right and similarly for test cases we have uh, in this main folder inside that we have all we have our test cases like test classes and we have some other resources like screenshots uh, reports extend reports or spark report test data test ng.xml like that and these are some other folders we have so this is the the folder structure which we are going to follow and uh, you'll understand uh, more when we construct in real time in the next video now what is the key prerequisites to learn this framework so you can learn this framework effectively if you know <coughs> uh, these details uh, like these features or uh, if you have these skills right so you should know the basic knowledge you should have the basic knowledge of agile and software testing the basic programming language you should know like java the uh, <coughs> basic concepts like variable data types operators right here i have listed down everything you should know the basic uh, selenium web driver uh, the basics of selenium web driver like setting up how we are going to set up the driver how we can locate the web elements you should know the basics of test engine framework like uh, you should know different uh, annotations how we are using how we can create different test classes how we are going to use how we can execute our test ng classes basic knowledge of maven dependency right and then we have page object model and uh, logging for log 4j reports extend reports data driven testing how we can read the data read and write data from excel sheet git and version control and then basic knowledge of data database these are optionals but optional but you can still learn because we are going to use database test cases as well in this framework database and api test cases as well so these are the different things guys uh, which i would say like key uh, key prerequisites to learn this framework 
even if you are a beginner you can still you know go through this series and you can learn how we are going to construct the framework but i would recommend first to go through the java and uh, selenium series in our channel you can go to the playlist and you can learn those concepts first and then you can come to this series and uh, so this is the task for you guys uh, for the next before the next video right before the next uh, part so set up the java and eclipse and maven maven on your system right so even i have created the document on this as well because i'm not going to explain how we are going to you know download the java or uh, eclipse or how we, we are going to set up the maven and all right so uh, better if you if you know like if you are a an automation engineer or if you're learning automation then these are the basic things you which you should know so we are going to use java like java 17 you can use uh, because recently i used it so i don't find any issues so we can use java 17 and whatever latest selenium uh, sorry eclipse um, id will be there we can use it and in the next part we we are going to talk about how we are going to uh, set up the project in eclipse and i'll also talk about what are the manual test cases what are the manual test cases which we are going to uh, automate in this framework and also we'll talk about um, uh, how we are going to construct different folder structure in the next video so thank you guys uh, for watching this and please like and share this video and subscribe this channel if you haven't done so and uh, click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos of this framework series now let me show you uh, one thing from uh, how we can set up java and eclipse so i have already created the document so you can this is the link i'll provide the link in the description box of this video and uh, you can see java eclipse and woman installation setup quick guide so the don't worry about the like uh, the buy now option over here because the price is zero so you can easily click on buy now and uh, just enter a basic information like uh, email id and uh, phone number and you will get the link download link in your email once you've done the process so thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye